Hi guys, it's Avery the Piccolo Pickle, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about basic care and maintenance for your flute. Um, the first thing I want to go over with you guys is some supplies that you're going to need to keep your flute in tip-top condition. And the first thing, probably the most important, is going to be a towel or cloth. Um, my cloth is actually in the laundry right now. So I'm using just a basic towel. Um, and some people will be like, oh, a towel, I'll use a towel. Well, it's worked for me all these years. Now, just to appease those people, don't pay attention to what I'm putting over here, just to appease those people who are kind of CDO, OCD, like me, I'm going to use a regular cloth instead of a towel. But I just want to show you guys that you can use, this is just a microfiber cloth, alright? Just a simple microfiber cloth that came with an eyeglass cleaning kit that I got. But anyway, um, I'm just going to use a regular cloth. I just want to let you guys know that you could use a towel if you felt like it. Um, unless you're not a risky person. Then. <laughs> but it's not that risky, I promise. Alright, so... The next thing you're going to need, the second most important to the cloth, is um, rubbing alcohol. Now, this is going to sound weird at first, but just bear with me. I have a bottle of alcohol that's almost full. I have a bottle of rub. These are both uh, isopropyl alcohol. I have a 70% and a 50%. 50%, if you'll notice, is almost ha halfway full. And the 70% is com almost completely full. Now, the percentages don't matter as much. I like to use 50 on um, the whole body and then 70 in smaller areas. That's why this one is a little bit um, less used. Another reason this is less used is because I use Q-tips to apply instead of a towel. Um, so, um, you can just use one on the whole body. But if you are going to use one on the whole body, I would suggest using 50% instead of 70 because it can tend to be a little bit harsh on your flute. Um, so, with that said, um, let's move on to the next supply, or part of the supply, I should say. And this is a big one, Q-tips. I have a cup of nothing but Q-tips. Q-tips for days. There's Q-tips underneath those Q-tips. Q-tips are constantly being used to get rid of blemish, or not blemishes, but little spots on the flute from where I might have eaten before I played and it leaves residue or fingerprints or um, anything that might get on the flute, like specks or dirt. Q-tip and rubbing alcohol just gets it right off. Um, so I have a bunch of Q-tips on hand in a cup in my room at all times. Another thing you're going to need is going to be now this is optional you can you can do this yourself or you can let a repair technician do it i just do it myself because it's not that hard um it's oiling your keys and i use yamaha let me see if i can put my finger so you can see. um yamaha key oil yamaha key oil um medium i don't know what that means but it comes in a little clear container it's got a green lid a little needle applicator well um it's actually really expensive it's seven dollars but this will last you a few years um because you use just a very small amount on your whole entire mechanism like your whole flute um so you'll need that and then this is another thing that you can do yourself or leave up to your repair technician a little mini screwdriver to occasionally tune up those keys that are being bad um, and then, of course, you need some sort of swab um, or pad saver. What is a pad saver? These are pad savers. All right. Oh, there. Let me just straighten it out here. There you can see a little bit better. It's more swirly. They're just basically they wick out the spit and water that gets inside of your instrument. Is it lagging? I can't tell. This is my webcam, by the way, guys. I just set it to a lower setting so that it can 
keep track of my video. Now, um, pay attention because I'm going to teach you how to use a pad saver. Basically what you do is you, you run it through once, and you run it through again, oh I'm sorry, and this time you leave it in. Now make sure the sponge ends near the tenon because that's the whole point of it, is to wipe out the tenon. And you just leave it in the second time, okay? And then you can put that away, but we're not going to put it away because we have to take another <laughs> take some more video. Um, so, uh, there's also, if you buy the one that I did, it's an HW pad saver set, then you can also a little foot joint one. Uh, make sure you do it in the same direction, don't run it back and forth, it'll tear up your pads. So if you do it backwards, do it backwards twice and leave it in. But don't do it, don't run it back and forth, so it'll tear up your pads really quickly. Alright, so we know the pad savers, the oil, the screwdriver, the cloth, the Q-tips, and the alcohol. So now that we have all of your supplies, we can go ahead and uh, get started. So, first things first, we're just going to do a broad sweep of the entire flute. So we're going to take our 50, if you got the two different kinds, if not, just take your rubbing alcohol. And we're going to take our cloth, and we're going to just tip it over and leave a little bitty spot. You see how small that little bit spot is? Very small, all right? You're just going to wipe down pretty much your whole flute. To be really honest, it doesn't take that long to wipe down the whole flute. Um, swipe on the body, the keys, making sure not to touch the pads. Don't forget the G-sharp key and the levers and the trills. Get them all, and the thumb keys too. And even the keys you don't press, go ahead and get those. Although if you're in a hurry, you can skip those because they probably have less dirt than the others because of the fact that you don't ever touch them. So there's that. Um, get the foot joint too. Like I said, even the tees you don't touch. Go ahead and go. And it takes like, what is this, 30 seconds to wipe down your entire flute? I mean, it's ridiculous. And you could pretty much do this every day. I know that's kind of pushing it, but you could do it every day if you really put your mind to it. So, now we're wiping down the head joint. Especially the lip plate, but we're going to get that really good in a minute. Alright, so now we've just done a broad cleaning of our entire flute to kind of get rid of all the dirt and everything. Now we're going to do a more specified cleaning using not our 50 anymore, but our 70. So we're going to take off the lid, take a Q-tip, and just dip it in the rubbing alcohol. Like I said, it helps if your rubbing alcohol is pretty much full to just be able to dip it. Now you're going to take the Q-tip and carefully get each little key and just wipe it across the whole thing of the key. The root and everything. The whole key. Right. So once again we're just wiping down the whole key. I'll get the outside first and the inside. And the trills and the um, trills that you don't press, which are on the top here, and the thumbs. Make sure you get the thumb key that goes underneath the bottom thumb key, basically, and the G sharp key, and the other side of the G sharp key you don't press. And now I'm going to dip it again in the rubbing alcohol. Kind of tap it on the rim to get a lot of the excess off. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to get the rods and all the dirt 
off of those. Now make sure you're only using Q-tip for this. Do not use the cloth on your rods or put too much on there and you can damage your food like that. So just really get, especially any visible dirt you can really get with rubbing alcohol. Um, if it's really visible you can get it. Just kind of get the whole rods. Um, get the rods that hold the G sharp if you have an offset G. Get underneath the rods as best you can. In between the keys. Again, getting underneath the rods. You'll see it's getting pretty dirty. So we're going to change ends. Um, actually, we're pretty much done with this section. Maybe this last little. All right. Now we're done with the body. See, guys, this, this hardly takes any time at all. Now dip your other end of the Q-tip into the alcohol and do the foot joint the same way. Keys first, outside inner, and then the actual keys that you press, and then the key that goes underneath. Now the rods. Now this should only take, since the foot joint is so small, you shouldn't have to dip it twice. Only one should be done. So go ahead. Alright. Now, we're not quite done. I'm going to get another Q-tip. So, just keep help you keep track here. We're up to two Q-tips. <laughs> Only two Q-tips. Go ahead and dip it. And tap it to get the extra off. Now we're going to do the lip plate the same way we did the keys. Just kind of rub the Q-tip across it and get the inside of it as well as running along the inside of the uh, lip plate to get kind of the blowing edge. And you can even take it kind of run it around the inside if you want. That's kind of pushing it, but you can do that and then just take the Q-tip and get the actual hinge on it as best as you can. Alright, you are done cleaning. Um, it's lagging. So if I hold still for a minute and let it catch up, it starts lagging. Stops lagging. So that's that. Um, now if you want to oil your keys, this is the time to do it. So. Take the end, other end of the Q-tip that you use for your head joint and put a little bit of oil on it. It's a very small amount so you can barely see it. Now, go ahead and Let's soak in and then just dab the ends of all the rods and the beginnings of all the rods. If you don't know what I mean, then you probably don't need to be oiling your own flute. So take it to a technician. I'm not saying you should know what I mean. I'm saying if you do, then you can oil your own rods. If you don't, then don't do it. All right, so we've used two Q-tips. That's it so far, besides the cloth and the rubbing alcohol. Now, we can put away our 70 alcohol. We're done with that. Get back out our 50 alcohol. Because your percents, by the way, guys, in case I didn't mention that. And last time, go over The entire flute with it. This time be careful. 
to get any fingerprints on it after you've wiped it down. So we're just wiping it one last time down with a 50 to make sure we got all that dirt off. So this takes mm, five to 10 minutes every time you do it. Now, I actually don't need to adjust any of my screws. I'm not going to mess with them if they don't need adjusted. So, so I can't teach you guys how to adjust your own screws right now, but mine don't need adjusted, so. And well, now we're done oiling, we're done screwing, even though we didn't do it. That sounds weird. Now we just put in the oil, the screw, and the cloth. And it comes, I pack in this neat little case. Came with my eyeglass repair kit. Now, remember when I taught you about this? You take it, shove it, pull it. Take it, shove it, and leave it. Even with the foot joint, you take it, shove it, pull it, shove it, leave it. Now, be very careful and put them away in your case. Try not to get fingerprints all over them. And close your case and either zip it, latch it, or velcro it or whatever. Put your flute away. And that is basic care and maintenance for your flute.